older grade 8 students, welcome to Bamboo Tele Escuela. This is your School on Air in Physical Education 8. I am teacher Naomi Barasi, a junior high school teacher of Kawayan City National High School, Maine. Don't forget to grab your module with you, my dear students, and tune in to DWDYAM, DWNDFM, CMD Cable Channel 11, and also streaming live at SDO Kawayan Facebook page. Welcome to the world of team sports. Let us fight the COVID-19 by making our body stronger and healthier through physical activity. I know you're getting bored this quarantine because you are prohibited to go out and play with your friends. But there's nothing to worry about. It's time for you to bond with your family and invite them to play with you. Please take note that we'll be answering the following questions at the end of the discussion. First, what is basketball? Second, what are the basic skills in playing basketball? Third, what are the proper execution of the skills in playing basketball? So what are you waiting for? Let's learn basketball together with your brothers, even your sisters. Yes, you heard it right. It's basketball time. Do you know what is the importance of team sports? Team sports strengthen your bond as friends and as members of a family. Cherish every moment as you enjoy playing with those whom you love. Just always remember a family that plays together it stays forever and lives longer. Today, we will focus on one of the world's most well-liked team sports, basketball. This sport is different. It introduces you to the world of team sports. As you go along, you will encounter activities that allow you to demonstrate understanding of the benefits derived from your engagement and participation in basketball together with your family which eventually promote family fitness, health, and wellness. So let's start with the nature and background of basketball. Basketball is a team sport wherein the objective is to shoot a ball through a basket horizontally positioned to score points while following a set of rules. Usually, two teams of five players play on a marked rectangular court with a basket at each width end. Its court has 18 inches in diameter and 10 feet high. Take note of the following. A field goal scores two points for the shooting team if a player is touching or closer to the basket than the three-point line and three points if the player is behind the three-point line. Another, the team with the foremost points at the top of the sports game wins, but extra time could be issued when the sport ends with a draw. The ball is advanced on the court by bouncing it while dribbling or passing it to a teammate. It's a violation to maneuver without traveling, to hold it, or to carry with both hands, then resume double dribble. So, let's proceed to the history of basketball. This team sport was invented by James Naismith, a Canadian clergyman, educator and physician in December 1891. The first ball used was a soccer ball played by nine players and the goals were wooden pitch baskets affixed to the walls. 1897 to 1898, teams of five became standard, played by both men and women. In 1959, a basketball hall of fame was founded in Springfield, Massachusetts. Its roosters includes the names of great players, coaches, referees, and people who have contributed 
significantly to the development of the game. The game of basketball was created in December of 1891 by YMCA gym teacher James Naismith in Springfield, Massachusetts. To create the game, he used a peach basket, a 10-foot pole, and a soccer ball. In 1891, the first ever basketball game was played between Naismith's students. It took quite a while, but a point was eventually scored, and basketball's first ever game concluded with an epic final score of 1-0. to zero. James Naismith would adjust the rules of the game over the next 20 years, and the game would continue to evolve. In 1892, dribbling became a legal move. In 1893, the first ever women's collegiate basketball game was played. In 1895, the popularity of basketball spread, and basketball became an established sport that was played through numerous high schools and college universities. By 1901, basketball collegiate competition was taking place all around the United States. As the years went on, Naismith added a backboard and created a leather basketball. In 1906, an iron ring with a woven net was used and replaced peach baskets. In the 1920s, small basketball leagues were forming around the country. Among these groups that formed were the Harlem Globetrotters, whose flashy and entertaining style helped spread basketball's popularity. In 1936, basketball officially became an Olympic sport, with the gold medal game played outside in raining conditions. In 1937, professional basketball established the NBL, meaning the National Basketball League, which became the first official pro basketball league. In 1939, NCAA basketball held their first official championship tournament. In 1946, competition arose for the NBL. The BAA, which means the Basketball Association of America, was established by Walter Brown. The NBL's popularity was slightly greater than the new BAA, but the BAA was quickly on the rise while hosting major basketball games in the Boston Garden and Madison Square Garden. From 1946 to 1949, the two leagues competed intensely to be the top basketball league in America. That was until August of 1949. Leaders of the NBL and the BAA met at the Empire State Building and the two groups agreed to a merger of both leagues, which became the National Basketball Association, or of course as we know it, the NBA. George Mikan was just beginning his basketball career in the mid-1940s and became the first NBA star in a league that would become all about stars. In 1954, the 24-second shot clock was introduced to the NBA to expedite the game's tempo. In 1956, Bill Russell was drafted by the Boston Celtics, which was the beginning of the NBA's greatest dynasty in history. On March 2, 1962, Wilt Chamberlain had the greatest scoring performance in NBA history, individually scoring 100 points in a single game. In 1970, Oscar Robertson, a legendary NBA player and former president of the NBA Players Association, filed an antitrust lawsuit against the NBA. The suit was settled in 1976, which resulted in the creation of NBA Free Agency, which allowed player mobility by choice of the players. In 1976, the NBA and the ABA, which was the American Basketball Association, merged into one league. The NBA treated it as an expansion and absorbed four teams from the ABA, increasing the league from 18 to 22 teams. In the 1970s, the league's popularity had taken hits amidst on-court violence and alarming amounts of drug abuse throughout the association. In 1978, Larry Bird was drafted by the Boston Celtics, and in 1979, Magic Johnson was drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. This sparked the greatest rivalry in NBA history, which led the NBA to record heights of popularity and viewership. And Magic and Bird are now commonly seen as the saviors of the NBA. In 1984, Michael Jordan was drafted by the Chicago Bulls. Michael would be the one to take the torch from Bird and Magic, and Jordan would carry the league to new heights throughout the 1990s. In 1992, the USA Olympic basketball team included NBA players for the first time in Olympic history. Led by Jordan, Magic, and Bird, the Dream Team dominated the Barcelona Summer Olympics, and the team is commonly credited for increasing the NBA's popularity onto a global scale. After Jordan's final retirement in 2003, players like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, Allen Iverson, and Steph Curry 
took the torch and have helped the NBA's brand grow into the league we know and love today. How do we play basketball? All we have to do is to identify the different five basic skills in basketball with proper execution. First is shooting. Shooting is throwing the ball so as to make a goal. The most practiced skill in game is shooting. So, here's how you can improve your shooting skills in basketball. Number one, always remember the beef when shooting the ball. B stands for balance. E stands for elbow. E stands for elbow. And F stands for follow through. Number two, be relaxed and concentrate on the basket. Number three, know when you have a good shot and then take it. Number four, be in proper balance when shooting the ball. Number five, follow through on every shot you take. Number six, jump naturally. Number seven, up, hang, shoot is an easy way to remember this. Number eight, Make sure you have an arc on every shot you take. Number nine, be relaxed when shooting free throws. And number 10, practice all of your shots. Second is dribbling. Dribbling is a skill that a player should master. It allows you to move around the court while you're in possession of the ball. This is how it's done. Number one, Dribble the ball with hand and use only the tips of your finger in dribbling it. Number two, employ the wrist and the forearm to push the ball while covering the court. Number three, don't enfold the whole hand to avoid losing control of the ball. Number four, don't keep your fingers in touch with each other while dribbling. Number five, Spread your fingers to allow full control of the ball as it dribbles. Number six, dribble the ball in one side of your body and not right in front. And number seven, while dribbling in one hand, use the other hand to drive your defender away from the ball. Third is passing. Passing is one of the primary skills created to accomplish. It is a skill that maximizes the involvement of all players in setting up a play to earn successful shots and earn points for the whole team. Different types of pass. Air pass. Travels between one player to another without hitting the floor. Example of air pass are chest pass and overhead pass. Bounce pass is thrown to the floor so that it bounces to the receiver. Chest pass is a pass originates from the chest to the receiver's chest. Overhead pass is a pass that originates from the forehead of the player. Fourth is rebounding. Rebounding is one of the major aspects of the game. Rebounding is ability to jump with power to gain possession of the ball as it bounces to the rim after a failed shot before it touches the floor. How important is rebounding? Whenever you grab a rebound, your team gains a chance to shoot again while the other team actually loses it. Here's how to make a good rebound. Number one, practice good footwork and vertical leap or jumps. Number two, anticipate where the ball will land. Number three, the longer the shot or the harder the rim, the farther the bounces. Number four, when a shooter is a soft shooter, this means he always takes time to put an arc on his shots. The ball bounces near the ring. Number six, leg power and strong body are needed in rebounding. Last but not the least skill is running. Running is one of the basic skills that a basketball player should possess. It provides the player a greater chance to shoot the ball. Here are some tips for you to improve your running skills. Number one, 
Always have a good pair of playing shoes. Number two, always do a combination of dynamic stretching and warm-up activities across the court before going out to play a game. Use dynamic stretching and warm-up activities as your exercises, such as toe walk, heel walk, inch walk, high knees, butt kicks, shuffle, back pedal, jogging, karaoke, and jumping jacks. Always remember that before we are going to perform any of the following basic skills in basketball, we need to condition first our body by performing these warm-up activities. Basketball Tips and Drills Greetings all ballers out there. We've all been wanting to up our game for a while now. Hitting those three-pointers and acing those dunks is a dream for a lot of us. Today, we'll look into some tips and drills that will take your basketball skills to the next level. Improve your shooting. The best shooters in the game train themselves by doing extraneous amounts of work and repetitions that help build muscle memory. Muscle memory allows you to not think about the movements you're doing because it's natural for your body after so many repetitions. You can do this by laying on your back and going through your shooting motion. To start, lay down on your back, raise your arms into a shooting position, and shoot the ball straight up in the air. Make sure to focus on your follow-through from your elbow all the way through the tips of your fingers. Flick your wrist and follow the ball to roll off the tips of your fingers on your shooting hand. Use your offhand to guide the ball and not to shoot it. Your goal is to shoot the ball with a good backspin so that it lands right back in your hands. Working on your ball handling. Ball handling is essential to improve your playing technique. Take a tennis ball and pass it back and forth between your hands, moving it around your body and through your legs or dribbling. Put a basketball inside a plastic bag. That'll make it slippery. And the knot where the bag is tied will make it unpredictable and bounces. Handling the ball in such conditions will test your reflexes. Visualization. Think of yourself being part of a match. Now visualize yourself in certain complex situations in the match and decide what should be done to take your team to victory. You can walk into your driveway and pretend that there are three seconds left in a game and you have the last shot. Taking decisions and coming up with strategies under pressure is an efficient way to learn the game. Box drill. Start in one corner of the court. Make two inside out moves before the half court. At half court, making sure you're still on the sideline, make a spin dribble. Change hands and dribble across the midcourt line. At midcourt, make a pullback crossover. Just before you get to the opposite sideline, make a half spin move. Do it all at speed. Next time, go faster. At the opponent's sideline, make a behind the back move and head for the elbow on the same side of the court that you started on. At the elbow, make a hesitation and crossover move and finish with a layup. Dribble with your weak hand. Remember to practice dribbling with your weak hand until you can handle the ball as effectively with either hand. While dribbling, put your head up, not down, so that you can see what's happening around you. Make sure to dribble as fast as you can while still keeping control of the ball. Jumping. Your ability to jump is vital in every aspect of the game, be it blocking shots, collecting rebounds, or shooting. Doing vertical jump training is the best way to go about it. Remember the goal is to reach as much height as you can while controlling your balance and landing posture. Getting in the weight room to improve strength. Working out is essential to improve your game. Getting stronger will allow a player to pull down more rebounds, fight better for position, nudge off opponents, and much more. The body will also be more resistant to injuries. Apart from everything above, the most important thing you can do to up your game is to treat your training like a doctor's appointment. Don't miss training and stay as consistent and persistent as you can. That's the only way to Kobe your way into that net. So, those are the different five basic skills in basketball. Shooting, dribbling, passing, rebounding, and running. Always remember this quote, in sports, it's not winning that matters most, it's how you play the game. We should remember the three ways on how sports relieves our stress. First, when the body feels good, the mind does too. 
Second, sport offers a creative outlet for people to express their personalities in a safe environment. And third, sport improves our physical health. That ends our lesson for today. For you to learn more about the lesson, guided with your module, you are going to do the following. Number one, take your time reading the lessons carefully. Number two, follow the directions or instructions in the activities and exercises diligently. And number three, answer all the given tests and exercises. Hope you learned something that will change your lifestyle, especially this COVID-19. If you still have questions and clarifications, write it down on your module and message your physical education aid teacher. See you again next week here only on DWDYAM, DWNDFM, CMD Cable Channel 11, and follow the Facebook page of SDO Kawayan for more live updates and information. This has been Teacher Naomi for Bamboo Teleskwela. Be physically fit, dear students!